Guys, Big Apple 76 here, and today I'm going to show you how to make orange juice with one single orange. So what you want to start off with is a small bowl. Small bowl. So I'm going to start off with um this kind of bowl. Put your orange in there nicely. So let me. You want to peel it. So how you peel a this is a cutie. And you just uh, you gotta dig your fingernails into that orangey orange orange crust, and then you just pull it. And then this is actually a really easy process that only takes I don't know I haven't done this before. It's really seasoned well with a lot of good seasonings like salt. And vinegar. No, I'm kidding. I don't know about vinegar, but definitely salt. Cause I, I'm a cook. So yeah, um, I'm just peeling this orange, peeling it very well, very very well peeling. See, I'm just digging my fingernails. But once you're done, you're gonna have orange stuff in your fingernails. So you open it up. You gotta get all this stringy stuff. It'll it'll ruin the orange juice. So you put them in the in your cup. And here's what you do. This is the most important part. You grab a small spoon. And you just gotta get it like mushed. Now, and this actually has a lot of pulp in it. It's 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 um probably I'd have to say, um, I don't know how many, 90% pulp, 90% pulp, um, 5% anonymous, and then 5% juice, maybe a little less, but yeah, and if your spoon ain't working, just put it in the dishwasher, in the dish, the sink, and maybe take your fist and just like, my fist does not fit in there, take a fist and just... Mush it down. Get a lot of juicy. A lot of juice here. Okay. I'm getting juice. And I'm just going to quickly wash my hands. Yep, this is probably the best we're going to get it. I'm just going to mush it down just a little bit more. And then I'm going to wash my hands real quick. Just rinse them with water, that's all you need. Proper cooks wash their hands. And always dry your hands off because you don't want to get that extra water. Okay. And then, um, yeah, so then I'm going to take a cup, one of the best cups I could find. Um, I'm going to take this cup right here. So I'm going to just Try and get all the juice I can. That is all the juice we're gonna get in there. Maybe add just a little bit of pulp. Okay. Um, so here's what we got here. That's the that's the juice. Um, I'm gonna get a close in. That is it, and then that's what we did with the oranges. So put my camera back on this cup. Okay, now I'm, I just need to season it a little bit more with some juice. Maybe I can get that a little bit juicier. But yeah, I'm going to get a seasoning. This is pink Himalayan sauce. I mean, salt. My bad. I'm just going to turn it over. Just, you know, salting it up. Just a little twist. If you got the pink lamb, uh, lamb. Okay. And yeah, it, it's pretty good to go. Just a couple more things you want to add. Um, just wait. Let me take you to the spice cabinet. There's a couple of spices that are really good for this. But yes, salt is probably the best one to add. And then, yeah... I'm gonna try and find one more thing. I think I'm forgetting something. Duh! 
forgetting ranch. Ranch is essential. Okay, I'm going to set my camera back up. Camera dude's in here. Just add one little squeeze. Is this expired? September 18th. Wait. September 18th. 2013. <laughs> yeah. Oh crap, that crust. Crust is enough. But yeah, I'm actually really excited. We got the ranch in there. Ranch crust. And yeah, um, it's time to dig in. We got that ranch crust on the edges. Ranch crust in my drink. That actually makes it really good. Um, but yeah, I'm about to drink this. I'm, I'm really excited. Three, two, one. That's really good. The ranch. Um, the ranch. And just. I mean, not much more I can say that this is great. It's really good. Just gotta get past the the taste. So yeah, guys, um, that's the end of the video. Apple on.